Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. Christmas is fast approaching, which is exciting and terrible. So today's episode is heavily impacted by the Letters Page Christmas episode that's coming out this week. But our main event is the Safety Team, another environment from Lobotomy Corporation made by Zarami and Crow comes once again in a very cool box. It says breaches are common to happen no matter what you try. An abnormality will find some way or reason to breach. This is why the safety team is here to try to make sure the breaches happen as little as possible, even if they do continue to happen. So this is very much an environment all about mitigation. It comes with a rules card. It says put this card in play, shuffle the environment deck. Cards with the enhance effect are changed to the next state. For example, a card in state one would enhance to state two if it needs to, unless the card specifies the state that it changes to. Cards with the reverse state go back to the previous state so two to one, unless, again, it is specified which it goes back to. This card is not considered in play. We don't actually need that because I just inherently understand this mechanic. But to show you what we're talking about, you've got this yin and yang, and these are variant cards for cards that are already in the deck. But this one goes to state two, and it looks like that. You take it to state three, and it looks like that. Boy, isn't that weird looking. I wonder what that could be about. Maybe we'll find out later. So, speaking of that letters page episode, we will be fighting Fright Train tonight with Potato Quality Definitive Absolute Zero, Target Daedalus, made by Jacob Busby, Ministry of Student Science Terminus, and a return of Score Motor with his final variant, Violent Spirit. So let's refresh ourselves on how Freight Train works. He starts out with nothing. Start of the villain turn, if there are 12 or more cards in the trash, he flips. End of the villain turn, reveal cards on the top of the villain deck until X cards are revealed, where X is the number of cards in the villain trash, minus one. Put the revealed one shot into play, which, again, don't know what he meant by that. Shuffle the remaining cards into the villain deck, then he deals the hero target with the highest HP for melee damage. So I think it means any revealed one shot, like all of them, all the revealed one shots. That's how I'm going to play it. So, here we go. Runaway Train, destroy all environment cards. Cool, that's fine. Fright Train deals each hero target X melee damage, where X is the number of environment cards destroyed this way, play the top card of the environment deck. Bloop. So we get to start off with the Safety Team Agent, one of the employees. At the end of the environment turn, you may move this card to another play area, or move a non-character card to the play area this card is in. Then this card deals each non-hero, non-employee target in the same play area, one melee damage. I wonder if... Score motor could benefit from that. I guess we'll find out. That's it for that. So, end of turn, he reveals the top zero cards of his deck. And then he hits the highest for four. That is Terminus. All right. Oh, yeah. Absolute Zero has the best power. We will onboard module install. Grab a null point calibration unit. Shuffle. Play that null point calibration unit. His power is high yield coolant tanks. Either draw a card or play a card. We'll play the isothermic transducer. And now he's set up. I guess I ought to play him a little on the reckless side. So let's start with the Graviton Cannon. His power is Air Brakes. Stateless regains 2 HP. He hasn't taken any damage. From now until the start of your next turn, the first time each turn he's dealt fire damage, he may deal an equal amount of fire damage to another target. So that's here to help mitigate the blow stuff up effects of his equipment cards. Draw a card. Actually going to draw cards, and I'm not going to try and clear out his hand so we can make use of that. Terminus, I'm going to go with Graven Shell. We will remove no tokens from her Wrath Pool. She deals the targets one cold damage and regains a hit point. So, hit Fright Train for one, heal one, draw a card. Let's start with an extra ball. At the start of your turn, add a token to your score pool. Increase damage dealt by score motor by one. When this card is destroyed, he deals himself one psychic damage, and you lose three tokens from your score pool. So his power is Tilted Tech. A score motor deals a non-hero target two projectile damage. A play field target deals itself one irreducible infernal damage that cannot be increased. So one fixed infernal damage. He will hit Fright Train for three, actually, and draw a card, because he's got no play field targets yet. All right. The safety team breaches figures. When this card enters play, reveal cards from the environment deck till an abnormality is revealed. Put it into play. Shuffle the other revealed cards into the environment deck. At the end of the environment turn, move four abnormality cards to different hero play areas, then destroy this card. So our abnormality of the day is Yin. Okay. This is the actual version of one of those two cards I showed you at the start of the game. At the end of the environment turn, move this card to a hero play area. The player that controls this play area discards a card. And if Yang is in play, enhance this card and Yang. So because of the breach, this is going to move twice. Two people are going to have to discard cards. Uh, but first, we can move this to another play area, so we'll put it over by Fright Train, and then he will hit Fright Train for one. End of turn, we move Yin to Daedalus's play area. He discards a card, and then destroy the breach. And then Yin moves itself to absolute zero, and he discards a card. Okay, Fright Train. Major Flay. Hooray. He has only one card in the trash still, so he's going to hit absolute zero for two. Four. End of turn. Major Flay hits the highest for two lightning damage. That will be Score Motor. 
So we want to let Terminus destroy tokens, if all possible. Coolant Blast, I guess. We'll use his power to draw a card and draw a card. All right, start of turn. Daedalus deals a target five energy damage, because that's fair. Hit Major Flay with that. And he draws five cards. So now he is in danger of overheating. But that's okay. We kind of want him to do it. Let's fly free. Discard the Atlas Gravity Well, because there are too many friends in the environment. Play an Icarus Bombardment. Draw four cards. Because three targets, 300 damage to each. I'm just going to hit Fright Train with that. Icarus is not in play. So we will use his power, draw a card, and then, oh no, he has too many cards in hand. He deals himself four fire damage and then destroys this card. So he hits himself for four and hits Fright Train for four, destroy that card. I think this is the way to play him is to go one equipment at a time, overheat your hand. All right, we are going to play the Stained Badge, remove it from the game, increase her damage by one permanently. So power, remove zero tokens from her wrath pool, deal the target one, two cold damage, it takes out major flay, so she gets two wrath tokens and heals one, and then she also heals one. Draw a card. Let's play the quarter driver. Oh yeah, start a turn, you get the score token. And if your turn, if you did not use the power on this card, you may remove up to three tokens from your score pool and draw that many cards. Power is discard up to three cards, he deals the target X plus one energy damage, then add X tokens to your score pool. Where X is the number of cards discarded this way. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to discard that extra ball, deal a target two, make that three energy damage, add a token to my score pool, and draw a card. The safety team plays Big Bird. Hey, remember when we fought the Apocalypse Bird? Whenever another target in the play area this card is in would deal damage, redirect it to this card. The first time each turn, each target deals damage to this card, it deals the source of the damage to melee damage. At the end of the environment turn, move this card to the play area of the hero with the highest HP. That's going to be bad. All right, so first... I can move this card to another play area, or move a non-character card to the play area this is in. Let's go ahead and, it's unfortunate that the big bird came out second, but I can bring it over here. It's going to deal both of them one damage. Or actually, no, he's going to deal the bird one damage twice, so that hits him for two, and then he hits it for one, so it's only once per turn. And then end of turn, this gets moved to, looks like, Terminus. All right, Freight Train's actually going to start doing stuff now. Off the rails, he deals the hero target with the highest HP, three projectile damage. That's Terminus. Destroy a hero target with two or fewer HP. Don't have any of those. Thank you. End of turn, he reveals the top two cards of his deck. There's an ongoing and unstoppable momentum. Deals the hero character card with the highest HP, two melee damage. That's Terminus again. They may discard a card. If they do not, he deals that character card two more melee damage. I think I'd rather keep the cards at the moment. We have lots of HP. And then he hits the highest for four, and that is absolute zero. Oh, right. Yin should have moved also. Let's just discard Force Wave Door. And that's it for him. All right. Absolute Zero is going to play Impale on Freight Train. You know, I could take Daedalus and stack his damage onto Absolute Zero and then Coolant Blast the fuck out of stuff, but once I get his damage boost out, draw two cards. All right. Start of Train doesn't have anything. I kind of want to get him set up a little bit. Yeah, let's play Immortality's Burden. So, end of his turn, he regains two HP. We will Air Breaks. He heals two. And that is activated again. Draw a card. And then he heals two more. That's pretty cool. All right. I love Guilty Verdict. Let's play Guilty Verdict. Power. We're going to take all the Wrath tokens to do two, three, four damage to the bird. It hits her back for two. That was not three damage, though. But then she heals three. Draw a card. I think Score Motor is going to play the Up Kicker. We'll destroy the big bird. You may remove three tokens from your score pool. If you remove three tokens this way, one hero may use a power. All right, start of his turn, he got a score token. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's have Terminus. She can deal zero, one, two cold damage to Fright Train and heal one more. Cool. Power, let's do Tilted Tech, hit Fright Train for three. Still don't have any playfield targets. Draw a card. I remove, remove up to three tokens from my score pool and draw that many cards. Well, I don't have any tokens. Hey, I finally got one of these. And yeah, I want to move playfield targets next to the environment targets. Oh, Yang comes out. Here we go. So, first things first. There are no non-character targets in this play area. There's no sense in moving those guys. So he'll just hit Fright Train for one. Yin is going to move to Absolute Zero, I guess. Rid of that. And then Yang is in place, so we enhance both of these cards. Yin says whenever this card will be dealt damage, if Yang has a higher HP than this card, redirect it to Yang. If Yang would leave play, revert this card and Yang. At the end of the environment, turn with this card to a play area closer in turn order to Yang. Then if Yang is in the same play area as this card, enhance them. So this goes to Freight Train, I think that means. Yang says, and I actually think this is going to happen. Whenever this card will be dealt damage, if Yin has a higher HP than this card, redirect it to Yin. If Yin would leave play, revert this card and Yin. End of the environment turn, one hero may deal this card two damage of any type. That's interesting. Yeah, we probably should do that. We'll have Terminus hit this for 
three melee damage, which gets redirected to Yin. I am assuming that we only redirect once, because, yeah. Or actually, no, technically it doesn't have to redirect, because they have the same amount of HP. All right, Freight Train plays off the rails. He hits the highest for three, that is score motor. Nothing to destroy. End of turn, reveal the top five cards of his deck. Improbable Grapple, he deals the hero target the highest HP, two melee damage, that is Daedalus. Target's player discards their hand unless each player discards a card now. It's Daedalus, he doesn't give a shit. Unstoppable Momentum, it's the highest for two, that's Daedalus again. He has no cards to discard, so he takes two more damage. That's a Nemesis, so it gets discarded. Plow Through, deals the two non-villain targets the lowest HP, two melee damage each. That is this poor fellow, and Yang, which gets redirected to Yen. And Local Motivation, reveal cards from the top of the villain deck till a Nemesis is revealed, put it into play, shuffle the remaining cards into the villain deck, and he regains eight HP, holy shit. That gets us Choke, oh, that's exactly what I did not want. She sucks. He heals eight, and then he hits the highest for four, and that's Terminus, which... Actually, I don't know if I've been missing Guilty Verdicts, but we'll put a token in our Wrath Pool for that one. Choke destroys an equipment card. That'll be one of Absolute Zeros, because he can get it back. All right, speaking of Absolute Zero, he hits Fright Train for two. We will onboard Module Installate. Draw a card. Shuffle, play Modular Realignment, get that Isothermic Transducer back. He deals himself one fire damage, hits Choke for one cold damage, he heals one. And then, hmm, he took a fire damage, so we'll go ahead and Coolant Blast and hit her for another cold damage. Draw a card. Daedalus skips his turn to draw two, and heals two. Okay, is he gonna flip? Not quite. Oh god, he's actually gonna reveal ten cards. We need to discard the top card of his deck if at all possible. Let's do Stoke the Furnace. Draw two cards. Increase damage dealt by her by one till the start of your next turn. And remove three tokens from your Wrath Pool. If you remove three tokens, play a card. We'll just get the three tokens. She gets an extra plus one. Power, let's remove two tokens. So she's going to deal a target two, three, four, five cold damage. I could hit absolute zero with that. That would be fun. And then she heals three. Draw a card. Please tell me you have a way to discard the top card of your deck. Okay, first of all, he gets a score token. Let's do a drop target tether. First time this card takes damage each turn, place a token on it. This card has three tokens. Shuffle a non-character card in play into its associated deck. Add three tokens to your score pool and destroy this card. So the fun thing about this is I can use the environment's target moving abilities to get this somewhere it'll take damage. We're going to use his base power, hit choke for three. Oh, hey, look, he's got 12 cards in his trash now. And this play field target will hit itself for one. We'll throw a token on it. Draw a card. End of turn, let's remove a token from the score pool and draw another card. All right, the environment plays Dimensional Refraction Variant, Abnormality. At the end of the environment, turn move this card to the play area with the most targets, then deals each other target in the same play area one irreducible sonic damage. Whenever this card destroys a target, each other target deals itself two psychic damage. Ooh, well that sounds bad. So Yin goes off first. It goes closer to Yang, which means they end up in the same play area. And now we get to see what happens when they combine, because that's what happens here. So this is really neat, because there's the top of it, there's the bottom of it. It's one card now. It has no HP, interestingly enough. When change to the state, this card deals each target three radiant and three infernal damage. Then revert this card to both yin and yang state one and shuffle them into the environment deck. Aha, right, so everybody takes six. Let's see, this guy ends up with a hit point. Hit Fright Train for six. Oh darn, that's only the first time each turn. So this goes down to one and gets a token. I was hoping we could take it down to three tokens and then shuffle this into the deck. Yeah, everybody takes six. Ooh, let's see. Let's add a token and let's add another token. And then score motor took damage. So let's remove three, increases damage by one and add a token. She's taking, let's add a token and then remove three and increase her damage by one. Nobody cares about Daedalus. Add a token, remove three, increase absolute zero's damage by one. All right, so we revert these both back to state one, and they get shuffled into the deck. And that means that's going to happen more and more frequently now. I move this card to the player with the most targets. That is score motor, interestingly enough, which means his target is going to die. Because each other target in the same play area one irreducible sonic damage. Sad face. And that destroyed a target, so each other target deals itself to psychic damage. That's a problem. Look at all these fucking bonuses. Score motor takes four, so that's a token in her wrath pool. She takes five. That's a token in her wrath pool. Daedalus takes two. Absolute zero takes three. And that's a token in the wrath pool. Good god. This is fun, though. All right. He flips. Thank goodness. To crash course. When he flips the side, destroy four hero ongoing or equipment cards. He deals each hero target four irreducible melee damage. Shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck. You don't say. Okay. Hmm, I don't want to destroy that if I can help it. Let's see, we'll get rid of Coolant Blast and one of the modules. Get rid of the Corridor Driver, I guess, and Immortality's Burden. Everybody take four. Remove three tokens from the Wrath Pool, increase Score Motor's damage by one. 
That's a token in the wrath pool. That's a token in the wrath pool. That's a token in the wrath pool. Shuffle the trash into the deck. Whenever there are four more cards in his trash, he flips. End of the villain turn. Fright Train deals the hero target the lowest HP, three melee damage. So, plow through, deals the two non-villain targets the lowest HP, two melee damage each. That is this environment target and score motor. And then end of turn, he hits score motor for three. That's a problem. Which means I can remove three tokens and increase score motor's damage by one. Well, the good news is we're going to lay the smack down on him, starting with a three damage Impale. Isothermic Transducer, we'll use his power to play another Impale, draw a card. Daedalus, we'll play the Matter Collapser. Too bad he didn't get a plus one damage. We'll go ahead and do that. Draw a card, deal a target, one melee, one energy, and one radiant damage. Draw another card. Terminus. Hey, let's do Immortal Coils. That would be very good. Terminus deals a target three cold damage. Make that five cold damage. Add one or remove three from your wrath pool. Well, I don't have any, so we'll just add one. Draw a card. Should I have Score Motor go out in a blaze of glory? I think the answer is yes. Human Projectile. A hero other than Score Motor deals a target two projectile damage. That'll be Terminus. She hits Fright Train for four. Score Motor deals one target dealt damage this way and himself one irreducible toxic damage. Make that five, and then he kills himself. That's fine. Fright Train would have done it for him anyway. All right, that was exciting, question mark. All of these plus ones wear off, except for the one on Terminus. All right, the environment plays Magical Girl G, an abnormality. Whenever this card moves to a different play area, she deals the target with the highest HP in the play area it's in, other than itself, X melee damage, where X is the number of cards in that play area. End of the environment turn, move this card to the play area with the most cards in play that she currently isn't in. That is Terminus, unfortunately. So she hits, ooh, she hits the highest for five. That's bad, uh, but that is a token in the score pool. That means she's going to die, unfortunately. So he flips as soon as there are four cards in the trash, worth noting. He plays last stop, reveal the top card of the environment deck. It has HP. Fright Train deals the hero target with the highest HP, X projectile damage, where X is the HP of that card divided by two, rounded down, then discard it. So that is six, reduced to three, he hits Daedalus for three. End of turn, he kills Terminus. That is unfortunate. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, we're down half our team. On the upside, start a turn. Absolute Zero hits him for two and two. Let's get those focused apertures out, along with using his power to play Cold Snap. I don't think I care about the environment anymore. No, actually, rather than Cold Snap, let's do Thermal Shockwave. Draw a card. Daedalus, 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 Daedalus. I am going to play Anti-Grav Field. I never do this one. Make some immune to environment damage, and start your turn, you draw a card to discard this card. Power, Matter Collapser, hit Fright Train for three. I will not draw a card. I'm going to play him safe. Okay, Terminus. One hero may deal themselves two psychic damage to draw two cards. A non-hero target gains three HP. Reveal the top three cards of a hero deck. Discard two of them and replace the other. Hmm. Let's do that. Score motor with that. That is very cool art. I don't know what's going on there, but I like it. A target gains three hit points. A player may draw two cards. A player discards two cards and their hero deals a target one irreducible projectile damage or put a card in their trash into play, afterwards shuffling it into its deck. That's really interesting. We're going to heal Absolute Zero for three. Yeah, that's probably good. All right, the environment plays a breach containment unit. Employee. When this card enters play, you may move it to a different play area. Whenever a target is moved to this play area, this card may deal that target three projectile damage. Let's see. She is going to be moving to Absolute Zero's play area, so let's put him up there to try and head her off a little bit. Speaking of which, she moves over here. He hits her for three, and then she hits him for, uh-oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh-oh. It's not good. Fright Train gets to go, which is really bad. Off the rails, he deals the hero target the highest HP, three projectile damage. That is Daedalus. Nobody has two or fewer HP, thank goodness. End of turn, he hits Absolute Zero for three. Good gravy. A start of turn, Absolute Zero hits him for six. I really do not want to use Thermal Shockwave this turn. I will play Cold Snap. Power, draw a card, draw a card. This might be the end for him. We'll see. All right, start of turn, Daedalus draws a card. We really need to get him set up now. Like yesterday, but now. The Icarus. Yeah. Okay, power number one, air breaks. Power number two, matter collapser. Hit Fright Train for three, draw two cards. Terminus is going to give us... Let's reveal from Absolute Zero's deck again. Put modular realignment back on top. Okay, score motor, we're going to discard two cards. Put a card from his trash into play and then shuffle it into its deck because we have a frostbound drain. Oh wait, no, we don't want that. Hang on. What could I use this with? Because that would kill him, unfortunately. I can't do that. 
heck? Question mark. Does Daedalus have something that will save us? I could get the Graviton Cannon out. I could get Atlas Gravity Well out. Actually, I should play Gravitic Snare. Okay. Oh, actually, no. That would go into play and then be shuffled into its deck, so that wouldn't do anything. Daedalus is going to discard two cards. We will put Icarus Bombardment into play out of his trash. Draw four cards. Three targets, 300 damage each. We'll hit Fright Train. We'll hit the Magical Girl. Not quite enough, unfortunately. The Icarus is in play, so I could discard up to two cards, but we're playing Hardball, so I'm not going to... Well, no, I probably should do that. Yeah, I'm going to discard two cards and then shuffle this into his deck. Okay, the environment. Please save us. Breach containment unit. Hey, all right, this guy is going to go in Daedalus's play area. So now, no matter where the magical girl goes, she'll be taking damage and we can get rid of her if Absolute Zero survives, which he won't. She moves to Daedalus's play area. One, two, three, four, five, six damage. If she first takes three. Oh, wait, shit, you're right. Okay, hang on a second. I'm dumb. I forgot about the fucking anti-grav field. Okay, will Freight Train end this game for us prematurely? Locomotivation. Uh, maybe? That gives us the Crackjaw crew. He heals eight. I don't like it. Okay, he got four cards in his trash the instant that card resolved. So now instead of hitting the lowest, we reveal the top three cards of his deck. There are fortunately two one-shots. Okay, so he gets the highest for two. That is Daedalus, who will discard a card so he doesn't take more damage. She gets... Discarded Runaway Train. Destroy all environment cards, though so this is good and bad. One, two, three. He deals each hero target three melee damage. Okay, so he kills Absolute Zero. Daedalus is down. Two. Play the top card of the environment deck. This could be bad. Oh, it's not. It's Nectar. At the end of the environment turn, move this card to another play area. Other cards in the same play area as this card cannot move to a different play area. That will be fun. And then the Crackjaw crew hits him for one, so he's almost dead. So, a hero uses a power. Destroy a target with two or fewer HP. Let us increase damage dealt by a target, a hero target, by one, since I've got the Matter Collapser out. Start of turn, we will draw a card, and then I will discard a card. Okay, I've got for too many Eureka moments. Let's play the Hoplite Armor. So he has some damage reduction. That's really important, God damn it. Matter Collapser, draw a card. Six damage to Fright Train, and don't draw a card. Let's reveal the top three cards of his deck. Gravitic Snare could be very useful. That is not useful, okay. We will heal Daedalus back to four. All right, Yang comes back out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is move Netsock to Freight Train's play area, so now anything that I put here will not leave. And then Yang moves. Oh, I didn't realize Yang actually lets you draw a card. He will not. Yin is not in play, so nothing else happens. Okay, Freight Train is going to be revealing a lot of cards. Major Flay comes out. Fun. So, reveal the top six cards of his deck. The game is probably over. Last stop. Reveal the top card of the environment deck. It is Void Dream. He deals the hero target the highest HP. Two. Projectile damage reduced to one. Not great. Let's card the environment card. Improbable Grapple. He gets the highest for one melee damage. We will discard his hand. He gets to draw a card at the start of his turn anyways. Plow through. It's a two non-villain target at the lowest HP for two melee damage each. That is just Daedalus. Yeah, he's dead, unfortunately. That's an ongoing off the rails, and we lose. Wow. That's what chat gets for calling him not much of a threat. <laughs> Well, let's take a look at the rest of the environment. Judgment Bird, another part of the Apocalypse Bird. At the start of the environment turn, this card deals each other target in the same play area two irreducible radiant damage. At the end of the environment turn, move this card to the next play area in turn order. That sounds like fun. So that's actually it. We saw the rest of the deck. I blame Daedalus for this loss because he's the worst hero. This variant for Daedalus is actually a great idea. It does really change up your play style. This variant for Score Motor is solid, really good. So that's it for this one. You can find the safety team on Project Moon Sentinels. Uh, you can find Fright Train and Target Daedalus on Sentinels Community Customs Classics, and you can find Score Motor on The Unconnected. So, thank you for watching. Thanks everybody who came to chat. Tabletop Simulator, the Reef Sentinel Holden DLC, Project Moon Sentinels, Sentinels Community Customs Classics, and The Unconnected are not less great these products. Please support the official release and flip. Also, yeah, we have some train on train violence here. That's uh, terrifying.